Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about the concept of the greatest generation. It discourages critical views of the World War II generation. Relax, I'm not saying that people who served honorably in the military during World War II don't deserve our respect and our gratitude. But in his book, The Greatest Generation, Tom Brokaw said that World War II era Americans were the greatest generation any society has ever produced. Credit where credit is due, World War II era Americans did do some truly heroic things. They also confined Japanese Americans to internment camps, exhibited racial and sexual attitudes that most of us would find unacceptable today, and created the egotistical, overbearing version of America that the rest of the world has had to put up with ever since. But talking about that side of the greatest generation for many people is tantamount to blasphemy. It makes it a little difficult to come up with a more nuanced historical picture of people from that era. And that is not my only problem with the concept, as you may have surmised from this being number one on a five-item list. There's also the fact that it promotes reverence for the military. The fact that they beat the Axis powers in World War II is the main thing. That's what made them the greatest generation. I get that. Unfortunately, that leaves those on the home front, including the women who drove much of the manufacturing that supported the war effort, left holding the short end of the stick. And I know Brokaw wrote about them in his book as well, but come on, when you hear the phrase, the greatest generation, you picture a dude in a green uniform, right? And again, I'm all for honoring veterans. I'm just a little squeamish about venerating them en masse. And what is the concept of the greatest generation other than a mass canonization of the World War II era American military. Its image is a product of cultural bias. Sure, the American World War II generation did some very impressive things, but what about the people of the same generation who were living in, say, Britain? Didn't they fight in the same war on the same side? Didn't they also live through the Great Depression? What about the people who lived in Nazi-occupied Europe? who had to face down the evil of Hitler right up close? Or what about the African soldiers who fought for the Allied cause and then were all but forgotten when the war was over? Is there a spot for them in the greatest generation? No. There wouldn't be, would there? Because it's very important that the greatest generation be an Americans only club, not just because it is a result of our cultural bias, but also because it represents American self-flattery. Calling our country's World War II veterans the greatest generation any society has ever produced is quite a pat on the back. But then again, it's very American to do that. I dare say no other society on Earth can match our capacity for shameless self-congratulation. We won World War II, see? So it's not the most devastating conflict in human history. It's the good war. And the men and women who fought that war, well, mostly the men, and most especially the white men, weren't just a good bunch of guys who did their duty and rose to the occasion. They were the greatest. They were the greatest. Fuck their parents and fuck their kids. They were the greatest. The best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will be. While I'm on that subject, it implicitly disparages generations that came before and after. Even if we adjust for their imperfections and take into account our evolving social attitudes and ignore the military worship and the cultural bias, is it really fair to other generations to declare the World War II generation to be the greatest? I mean, what about the Civil War generation? They were pretty good. Or half of them were, anyway. What about the Lost Generation? They had both a victory in World War I and the Progressive Era to brag about. Huh? What about the Baby Boomers? They had... It's not fair, is my point. It's not fair to call one generation the greatest of all generations. The whole point of remembering past generations is to learn from what they did right and what they did wrong. But it's hard to do both of those when you've defined them as the greatest people who ever lived right off the bat. 
The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.